Hey guys, I'm Reese. you're at Syndicate again. This time for an unboxing. I was just about to leave, it's 5 p.m. and then we got a call saying a delivery is rocking up, don't go anywhere. So I hung around and it was from Canada. A rider owned brand called Trinity. There's a sticker on the box. So yeah, this came from Canada, that's where all the parts are made. And yeah, if you're not familiar with them, you're about to see Regan. Uh, he, he got some parts sent out to him and he's actually been riding them on his scooter. And he hasn't taken them off, so I guess that's a good sign. Regan's pretty particular with his scooter. Firstly, lots of different sticker designs we got. Big bar stickers. There's a Canadian flag sticker the one on the box with their leaf and looks like a, a train or a bus map which is cool so yeah they, they'll probably be available for purchase and maybe chucked in your trinity orders when you get some some of the parts which i will get to don't know what's in here Exploded in this one, we have a little cylinder packaging of Trinity spoilers. So, if you don't know what a spoiler is, it's a fender Trinity style and it's uh, really lightweight. Something that I've read on the website that makes these a bit different is that there's no welds, they're just you know bent out of the aluminium, so it's a lightweight, sturdy design. Regan's running this one in red on his scooter what I've seen and looks like a really flush fit. You can also fit 30 mil wide wheels on these, they're nice and wide. So that's a, it's a really good fender. You got a little sticker in the container. The Instagram on there, Ride Trinity, T-R-Y-N-Y-T-Y is how they spell the brand. You'll probably see that in the title of the video. We've got them in black. We got them in raw as well. Get you a close up shot of those. Very neat. Now, Nylatron pegs. So, I created these products for our website just the other day, so I did a bit of reading about these pegs, and there's nothing quite like it. Featuring IRT, which is uh, impact redistribution technology. So, we'll. Um, See if I can explain it. If not, they've got an awesome video on it. So first of all, the pegs are made out of a nylon plastic. It's a it's pretty hard plastic. It'll slide, you know, on a rougher surfaces like the concretes and whatnot. Things you probably couldn't with uh, metal. It's also not too soft that it'll just wear out really quickly. So they're three-piece pegs. There's just the sleeve, a little bit of metal on the inside and another piece on the outside so you're tightening onto metal not the plastic that also means you can replace just the sleeves instead of you know getting the whole set plastic makes them a lightweight peg they're saying that they're some of the lightest on the market and they're sold in their kits these two short pegs look like they'd be the back one and they also have a set that's two long ones for the front and then a regular kit with a short and a long for the front and rear. And so, yeah, there's a few options for you. Suss them out. Oh, here it is. So it's another Fender. This one I think it should be called the Ned Kelly, but they've called it the Stingray Fender. Um, oh, I wish I hadn't opened my beer yet because I could have really demonstrated. This thing doesn't have one, not two, but three parts where you can crack a drink. That's pretty handy. Just like the spoiler, this thing is not welded. It's all bent up in Canada for 30 mil wide wheels. I'm assuming if it can fit 30 mil wide wheels, it would be able to fit 125s, 120s, as well as the spoiler. This Stingray has a the logo engraved, Trinity up the top, and the the Leaf logo in the center. All the fenders come with two bolts, and they're mounted to the top of the deck. So, with the width of these and 
the long slot that would mean you can fit them onto a lot of decks. Some you may have to drill a hole into your deck but it'll still be compatible after that. That is a service we provide here and you could run one of these. They're pretty cool. Oh. There's more. As well as the spoiler in the black and the raw, we've got them in red. Looks like that's what this box is filled up with, just some more reds. And this is another box. This is the last box in here. And it's all the sets of pegs we've got. So like I was saying earlier, it's the there's sets for the back end, two small ones, or there's two long ones for the front, or there's a set with the long and a short for the side. So you can, you know, do it all with these pegs and they're, they're plastic so they'll slide, they're lightweight and interchangeable. And that's Trinity. These parts exist from the minds of scooter riders and that's, that's why I think they're a bit different. Bean riders, I think they can see what's necessary for the market. You know, you can really relate to what's needed on your scooter because you're a rider, you're riding every day, you see flaws and designs and that's where the real progression comes from, I think. Rider-owned brands seem to be the ones always pushing for, for new technology and whatnot. And so yeah, thanks to Trinity for doing that. Keep at it. And you know, you guys for supporting us enough to be able to support these guys. And so it goes, thanks a lot. So I was just trying to finish the video when the camera started beeping at me. Turns out it ran out of space. But syndicatestore.com.au is where you can find these goods. Uh, they'll be up by the time you see this video. So go to the link in our description and check them out, get your details. Support a rider owned company out of Canada and support our Australian scooter shop. It needs to happen. Uh, you know, the more riders that are supported, the more riders ideas that are supported and that's where it's at. Peace.